Hey everyone, so as you probably already know, because I said it a million times, Bruce and Robert's season 2, episode 2, was supposed to come out today, but it just isn't finished. I, I know I set a release date for it, I know I did that multiple times, but it really just needs some more time in the oven. It's it's currently a slight bit undercooked, if you know what I'm saying. And I'm feeling a little bit sleep deprived today. So in replacement, I'll be ranking the top 10 worst Roberts of all time. Here we go. Number 10 is Teen Titans Go Robert. I just don't like this guy. His time on screen always makes me extremely uncomfortable as both his left and right femur bones look dangerously fragile and easy to break. This fear that his calcium deficient femurs might just snap unexpectedly is accentuated whenever he enters combat against a supervillain. I don't like seeing people break bones and while Robert might be the most deserving entity on the planet for such an injury, it just makes for a nerve wracking viewing experience all round. Number 9 is Robot Chicken Robert. His nightmarish gaze is enough to make hardened warriors tremble in fear. That's all I really have to say, I can't bear another second with his ghoul face on my screen. Number 8 is Chris O'Donnell Robert. Everybody talks about the bat nips, but nobody ever dares to mention the rob nips. That's because Chris O'Donnell Robert has since transitioned from Batman's sidekick to NCIS operative. He will probably arrest you or shoot you if you say mean things about his nipples. The police are unpredictable. Number 7 is Bald Robert. I have nothing against bald people at all, in fact I actually think bald people are pretty cool. Sometimes they drive cars really fast, sometimes they prepare and manufacture 99.1% pure methamphetamine, and sometimes they cry because they're bald. I like bald people. I don't like this bald people. They took the boy wonder and turned it into boy. I wonder what he just spent 25 years of his life running in a prison cell for. Unbelievable. Number 6 is Injustice 2 Robert. I got beaten by him a lot when I played the game and it left a sour taste in my mouth for years. The only way to repair my bruised ego after being relentlessly destroyed by him in online matches was to go into story mode and smash his face in with a wheelchair. Number 5 is Fake PNG Robert. We all hate fake PNGs. They're the bane of any editor's existence. The only thing that can make a fake Fake PNG worse is a fake PNG of Robert. Just an all round bad time. Number four is Wiki How Robert. Number three is where we start getting really serious. And this might kind of confuse you because I've actually voiced my hatred of this Robert more than I have with any other. So why isn't Lego Robert number one? Lego Robert is the epitome of all things useless. He is the quintessential fool, idiot, numbskull, fuckwit. Nobody likes Lego Robert. If I was offered one billion dollars to allow Robert to live out the rest of his days in peace, I'd murder him in cold blood and in my glory as every inhabitant of Earth collectively deems me the people's champion. In saying that, I now have history with Lego Robert. I've spent a large enough portion of my lifespan with him to acknowledge that putting him in the position of number one worst Robert of all time would just be disrespectful. Number two is I'm Stuff Robert. And the number one spot for the absolute worst Robert to ever grace the planet, without a doubt, goes to IRL Robert. Having Robert exist within a digital space or within the confines of a comic book is one thing. Having him roam the same three-dimensional plane that I do every day is both disheartening and annoying. Sometimes at night I wake up in a cold sweat after dreaming that he's escaped from the plastic prison I keep him in. I doubt his tiny plastic hands could ever hold a knife correctly, but that doesn't stop me from living in constant fear that one day he might find a way to exact his revenge regardless. 